Hey folks, this is Matt Mason from Imagine It, and I'm going to take you through real quick how to use your Imagine It Clarity data from either Power BI or Excel. So if you're not familiar with Clarity, Clarity is a uh, task automation platform that we have. Uh, it works mostly with Revit and AutoCAD for AEC firms, and one of the things that it does is it extracts data out of Revit and puts it into a Microsoft SQL Server database. Um, and it can do that for all the different models in your project and push everything into one centralized location. Um, and we use that inside of Clarity to show you different things, but you can get access to that data and slice and dice it however you want for whatever you need. And we're gonna look at two ways to do that uh, using both Power BI and Excel. Uh, the two ways that we're going to do it are one uh, that's called direct SQL, and then the other one is called OData, and they both have a little bit of uh, pros and cons. So I'm going to flip over here to uh, to Excel. Uh, the the mechanism for doing both of these is super similar between Power BI and Excel. So I'll show one in one place and one in another. Um, what you want to do is go to the Data tab in Excel and say Get Data. And in this case, we're going to go direct to the SQL database. So we're going to say from database and from SQL Server database. So all you need to do here is put in the name of your um, the name of your Clarity server or wherever your database happens to live, and the name of the project database. I'm going to go with uh, example project, for example, um, and then uh, here comes the part that's a little bit complicated or can be complicated. Uh, it's uh, what are the credentials that give you access to that project database? And this is something where you, know, you might have to work with your IT department to get uh, some kind of credentials, either Windows credentials or database credentials that says you are allowed to query this database. So. So yeah, so in this my case, I've got my Windows credentials already set up uh, in there, and so it knows who I am. I'm going to connect, and it's going to warn me just uh, that it's not an encrypted connection. So here in this project database are all of the 240-some tables of data uh, that, uh, that we're extracting inside of the Revit model. So for example, I'll scroll down, I'll find something like rooms, and you'll see, you know, here's a preview of the room data that we're extracting. So all the different parameters, and you can even see um, custom parameters. Um, Clarity will extend the data model uh, with any of your project parameters or uh, depending on your settings, the uh, shared parameters that are used in schedules or those kinds of things. So we've got access to all this data. You can pick and choose uh, which things you'd like to bring in. Is it just rooms? Do you want to bring in multiple kinds of data? Um, you pick and choose and then just say load. And this makes a live connection um, between your Excel file and back to the database. You can come in and uh, refresh this data uh, at any time. So just click refresh. If it's changed in the database or changed in Revit, you can refresh and your data gets, uh, gets updated here. So that's the, uh, that's the direct SQL approach. Now let's look at the other approach, which um, you know, it can be a little bit easier uh, for people, uh, especially if you've got to go through your IT department to get access. So we've got a relatively new feature in Clarity that uh, is called OData Access. And what that lets you do is take a project. I'm going to take, um, take this one here. And um, if you have uh, access inside of Clarity to the Edit Project page, or you can find somebody who will look it up for you, every project uh, has an external reporting link. So I click on that. This will generate a, an external reporting link for this project. And then once you've got that, anybody can take that. I'm going to get top over to my Power BI. And, and the Get Data side, instead of choosing SQL Server, I'm going to pick OData feed. So this is 
um, something where we're just going to do the basic version of it now. We paste in that, um, that link that we got, and it's going to read that data uh, over the web. Um, and so it's not quite as, uh, uh, as simple, uh, but it is, um, you know, it's really easy to set up, um, but uh, it's not quite as uh, fast to do it. Um, so let's see, it's asking us for what our credentials are. In this case, we want to choose basic, and then you're going to put in uh, your login for Clarity uh, and prove that you have access to this particular project inside of Clarity. This is something you only have to do once, um, and your Power BI will use this uh, set of credentials uh, from here on out. So here inside of uh, this environment, you can see we don't offer every single uh, aspect of, of what we have, all 240 tables. Uh, we've started with just the sort of most commonly asked for tables uh, available here. So if I pick rooms, uh, for example, uh, we can see uh, more rooms um, and we can see all this data here. Um, I'm going to, inside of Power BI, say I want to know about my rooms, my the Revit models that they came from, uh, the levels that they're on, the phases that they're in, um, those kinds of things. And then also tell me about any sheets that are out there. So here's the stuff that I want. Let's go ahead and say load. And so all of this data comes in. So it, it really is a little easier to get stuff loaded in. You don't have to deal with... Uh, you know, your IT department to get you access to the SQL database. You just take the link and then you've got stuff that you can work with. So, all right, I'm going to do this one more time, uh, but instead I'm going to take the get data and OData feed. And instead I'm going to choose the advanced option uh, and I'm going to include the open type columns. Uh, that will be what uh, makes the difference. And this is really for anybody who has data that's in there, which is beyond the built-in sort of fields that we, uh, that we support. Uh, you can see we just have the built-in fields, but if you have extra fields, um, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna say transform the data. And that's gonna bring up the, the Power Query Editor. This is again the same in Excel and Power BI. Scroll over to the right. And then you see that uh, we have access to both uh, LinkedIn bits of data, like the associated Revit model to the room or the phase to the room. Uh, but what I'm going to show is this more columns. This is where we click on it and it says, here's all the other columns that uh, we have in this database that are not associated with, um, uh, you're not sort of built into the query response. And so, Pick and choose what you want. I'm going to say um, don't use the more columns as a prefix. I just want to call them what I'm going to call them. So go ahead and say OK. And then after you've done that, you'll see that we now have uh, columns for all of your other uh, custom um, you know, project parameters and those kinds of things. Um, the other thing I'll point out is that uh, you might need to uh, look at things like this room occupant load. That's uh, likely a, um, uh, you know, likely a, a number field, not a text field. And right now, it's uh, presuming that it's a text field. You see how it says A B C one two three. You can click on any of these columns and say, by the way, this is not actually a text field. This is a, a whole number, or this is a decimal number, or uh, those kinds of things. So. We click on it and now it knows that and it'll treat it uh, appropriately. Once you're done uh, with these changes, just say close and apply. So there we go. There's all the uh, data with all of your custom fields uh, on there as well. So that's, uh, that's what I was going to show you. Um, there's, you know, you can get deeper into it. Uh, if you've got questions and you're in a Clarity customer, feel free to reach out to Imagine It Technical Support. Um, and if you've got questions about Clarity in general, feel free to contact us via our website.